All right, the deadline for you to get a real ID is rapidly approaching. If you don't have one by October 1st of next year, you're not going to be able to get on a flight here in the United States. This affects everybody, and there are still a lot of questions that are unanswered. So we brought in Jaime Garza from the California DMV to answer all of your questions. Jamie, let's start. What is real ID? Who needs what? <laughs> that is the biggest question that we get. What is real ID? So let's simplify this. After the tragedy of 9-11, the 9-11 Commission made a recommendation and basically said, we need to have minimum standards on the issuance of driver licenses and identification uh, cards yeah. across the country. And so you need to have a better verification process. That's why you have to bring documents to the DMV to get the real ID and more security features on these little cards now. Oh, okay. And that's really the real ID. And beginning October 1st, 2020, less than what, <laughs> 10 months, about 10 months from yeah. now, uh, if you don't have one of these cards uh, or another federal ID like a passport, right. you're not going to be able to fly to Vegas. You're not going to be able to fly to Chicago. Right. You're going to get grounded. You're going to get grounded. Yeah. But if you have a passport, do you still need the real? ID driver's license to That's do that. a good question. Okay. Uh, the TSA has a whole list of documents that uh, the security will accept at the airports. You can go onto their website and look at it there. Uh, yeah. This is an optional card, so you mm -hmm. have to ask your question. This is a question you ask yourself. Do you want to continue to use your driver license or your identification card yeah. as ID at the airport or to enter secure federal facilities or military bases? And if the answer is yes, mm -hmm. you should get one. And we recommend that you get one because it's probably going to be yeah. much more convenient for you. Yeah, and what do you need to get this? Because okay. you got to go to the DMV prepared. <laughs> Correct. Well, first of all, I want to make this clear. This is not a DMV program or a mm -hmm. California program. Uh, this is a federal program. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we want you to fill out the driver license application online before you come to the office. It's going to be a time saver. Mm -hmm. Then you need to bring one identity document, which can be a valid passport or a birth certificate, okay. uh, proof that you have a Social Security number, like a Social Security card, and two proofs that you live in California. So that can be a combination of a utility bill, your bank statement, even your vehicle registration if it has your name and address on it. Here's the catch though. Mm -hmm. If your identity document, the name on that, doesn't match the name you're using today because you got married, you mm -hmm. got adopted, we need to see that progression of documents too. So if your last name was Smith when you got born, your name is Johnson now, we need to know why your name changed. Mm -hmm. But get those documents. They have to be uh, original or certified except for the residency document. Yeah, and sometimes the DMV can be scary. Right. So is there a shortcut, or do you have to come down and show your face? There's no way around this, right? <laughs> There's no way around it, unfortunately. Good news is we've reduced our wait times of over 60% over the last 12 months. Mm -hmm. But here's what you can do. Come in prepared. Go to our website, realid.dmv.ca.gov. We have an interactive checklist there that will make you get the right documents. There's a video there you can look at. We're open on Saturdays at select offices. We offer extended hours at select offices, and that's all on the website. We're open at 7 in the morning, four weekdays except Wednesday. So you're going to have some other opportunities. What we're asking you to do is wait until your driver license is up for renewal mm -hmm. to come into the office. We're going to give you the renewal notice four months in advance. Don't put it on the coffee table. Yeah. Make that appointment right away because they're hard to get. And you're going to get in. So that's really important as well. So those yeah. are some tips that you can use in order to apply for the real ID. Yeah, well, what if your license expires? You still have to go in and you can get a real ID. If, if it, you want yeah. a real ID. Yeah, right? okay. The real ID is optional. Yeah. If you don't want a real ID, that's fine. You're going to get a California driver license, but it's going to say federal limits apply. Mm -hmm. The driver license that has a, a barren star in the upper corner, that's a real ID. Mm -hmm. Again, do you want to continue to use your driver license right. or ID as identification to board a domestic flight? That's the question you need to answer in order to get one of these, right. and you should get one of them. All right, so everyone, you've got the information. Go now go or go website. in. Yeah, go to the website. It's get in the there. It's simple. It's not that confusing, and it's not that complicated. Yeah. Just go in and take a look. Spend a few minutes. Come yeah. prepared. All right, thank you so much, My Jaime. Pleasure. I appreciate it. And if you still have more questions, NBC has set up a Real ID hotline for all of California between 4 and 7 tonight. Just dial this number on your screen, 855 622 5248, and they'll be able to answer your questions. <laughs> Thank you again, and we'll be back with more California Live right after this.